Yo, it's definitely the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again. You did. That's why, that's why I, I I hate that these niggas keep playing like that. I'm I'm dead up finna find me a, a lawyer about this shit. I never really care. You should though. But it's been two years. Y'all keep doing this shit. So it's like this some shit I could literally prove y'all lying about. Y'all lie. Y'all lie. Say I'm homeless. I'm fucked up. That's something I could prove as a lie. Flocko just posted a video talking about I'm scamming people for music videos. That's a fucking lie. That's fucking with my income because I'm known as a cameraman. Yeah, you said that you doing uh 380p or some shit. 380p. Yeah, all this goofy. I ignore it though because it don't bother me. But then somebody put in my head like, bro, you know this is probably like millions game. They said this on No Jumper, Say Cheese, DJ Academics, Vlad TV. And whatever else, it's like, why are you not doing nothing about this? But in my head, I just didn't realize like how much money I could really sue all these people. Yeah, no, nah, you should sue their ass even if, even if, like, even if it's longevity of that process. But you should sue their ass just to make. I just never been that type, bitch. Like I, like you know how people get the plan. Oh, you want some police shit? And it's like I'm thinking I'm finna only get a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. It's like I ain't want to deal with all that for that small. I ain't gonna say small money, but. You know, like, I want to make it worth it for uh, me. You, like, yeah, yeah, I get you. But at the end of the day, it ain't no small shit. It's your name. It's your, you like, it, it's you, bro. Like, because at the end of the day, I knew the story. When they when they put it out the first time, I, I dissected it. And I'm like, what the fuck? So you saying this and that. But Wacken got into it with big folks before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, what I have to fail to realize, though, is because in my head, I'm not seeing the effect of this shit for real. Cause in my city, I get the utmost respect and everywhere I go, I do. But what I failed to realize is it's actually people who hear this shit who have no clue who I am. And this might be the first thing and the only thing they hear about me. So once I put that in perspective, now it's like, I right, I can't keep letting y'all do this shit. Cause I honestly don't feel or see the effect unless I'm in the fucking room with Rockstar. <laughs> but even even Brick Baby and Sharp, when, when Flacco was explaining it, they both was like, yo, you can't put that on him. You can't do that. Don't yeah, do but that. I, don't, I, don't, I don't even. I really don't respect nobody, no jumper except for one person. Cause even that shit, I don't like that wishy washy halfway in, halfway out shit. Like when 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 Flacco got to talking about the pimp at no jumper, sharp getting that. No, no, no. Don't don't speak on him. But me, you just let him say this shit. You fake be in and out with it. Like yeah, we ain't gonna do that. But you show who you really fuck with for real. And I think they be feeling some type of way because we we had words before. We got heated. This ain't the first time Brick told me I was banned from from fucking L.A. We both had words with each other, and then I ran it. Then we squashed it, and I ran into him at the No Jumper store and spoke, and he was friendly. Yeah, like, you, did friendly you run into uh, did you run into Brick at the um the no the uh, Adam Twenty Two birthday party? Yeah, I ran, to, I ran to everybody there, but it wasn't no issue with Brick. The only issue was Flacco had one with me, and I walked up to him. I was really on some troll and shit. I seen him, and I'm like, I, I tapped my boy. Matter of fact, my boy in this bitch, hey, Louie. What's tell, up, tell, man? Tell them what happened. I don't even want to say man, what look, happened. Man, look, this man was about to beat the shit out of him. I had to calm him down, for The whole time he come out, I'm finna jump his ass. I'm about chill, bro. We, we on some respectful shit. Feel me? So yeah. then when he seen him, he get that. He getting that. What's up, my boy? How you doing? Wait up, bro. Hold on, bro. Don't never. Hey, listen. When your man been disrespected, nigga, don't never handle something respectful. You get disrespectful. Because if you do that, you get what you dealing with now. Yeah. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, feel I don't that. give a fuck, nigga. Hey, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> hey, wait, nigga, I know they know, bro. Get, See, before this <laughs> internet shit, I done did a lot of shit on red carpets. All kind of shit. See, one thing about whack, I get into the Emmys, the Grammys, all that. And niggas know, boy, if he catch you, he don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Nigga, if, if that's what it is, when I see you, whatever it is, that's what we doing. I'm and every nigga you. with me don't give a fuck about the industry. They don't give a fuck about ever going to a party again. See, that, so, that's, bro, that's the one nah, thing. That, that ain't like, what it is. That ain't what it is. He nah, if you caught like that, that nigga in the in the like that, he wasn't talking like that before. Oh, bro, he was doing little sneak, little snake, goofy shit. But he wasn't talking like 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 both of them weren't talking like how they is now. Oh, bro. So he waited till he saw him, and then after he saw him, and then start acting. Hey, like Louis, that? Louis. Every time any one of them niggas see me, what they do? Nice as hell, friendly, respectful. They. I'm gonna tell you this, nephew. My damn homie, they don't be on shit. Hey, Chuck, how you feel about Flacco trying to elude the like? Calling DW a snitch. I don't even think Flacco like. I don't think he should be able to speak on shit like that, bro. He can't bro, say who's snitching and who's not a listen, snitch. They the ones let him do it. 
Oh, no, Alan that's why I was telling him. They the ones let him do it. I'm like, yo, bro, y'all be letting this nigga. This nigga got everything out here looking like a clown because y'all let this nigga from North Dakota sit there in front of y'all and play with shit. This nigga, this nigga ain't even no street nigga trying to say he was what never snitching ever is and who a rapper is. On shit in front. Hey, man, shut the fuck up. Off the rip. Look, he got them niggas going. And, and, and it, it just so, like, that's why I don't respect them youngsters cripping. Man, them niggas would have told Flocko, you bitch, a hey, homie. Stay up out of crib business, my nigga. You, where you from? They'd have told him, where you from? Nigga, you ain't even from Cali. That's what ODM Slim said. It's real shit. Why you think they be letting Flocko all into the politics and shit like that? I don't that know. Like that? I don't know, bitch. It's them, no, that ain't the rest of them. Please, Flacco gonna fuck around and get caught somewhere, and uh, and that's why I keep telling him, bro, somebody's gonna catch you somewhere. You know, you know what Flacco gonna... basically doing? He basically do what academics used to do with the Warren Chirac. But the thing with academics doing it, he was way in New Jersey in his basement doing that shit. Flacco doing this shit, living in L.A., bro. The nigga is crazy, bro. Crazy as hell. Academics was way far away. <laughs> they gonna catch him. Flacco a real naive nigga, bro. Hey, bro, but you know, that's what I said about, because look, like, to be, to be successful, you don't got to recreate anything. You just got to add on, right? What'd you I say, 16? I, I think he paying niggas or something. I think he protected, because he been talking crazy lately. Nah, nah. Him, this and that. You can't touch nah, me. I got he letting gun. them. He let them, bro. Them is just weenies here around right now. Ain't there. nobody gonna save him, and ain't nobody finna die for him. Yeah, he just them just weenies that he doing that right there where he not finna. I bet you he ain't gonna mention my neighborhood again. I guarantee you that. Guarantee you. They letting him do that. I don't know why. Nigga, the nigga, you, did you hear the, the bozo? Uh, Crack store, you telling the Crips, come on, cuz, come on, y'all got, why you ain't telling Flacco nothing? He the mm. one agitating it. You, you said he agitated it. You ain't checked him once. You know why? Because what the nigga Rockstar is doing with Flacco is what he used to call me to do. Come in here, whack, and get him going. <laughs> and then he'll sit back and act like, come on, homie. Come on, y'all like don't. don't know what the fuck going on. Yeah, but he never checked Flacco. You noticed it? <laughs> never checked Flacco. I called him on it. Well, that's how we got into it. Yeah, what well, you know, yeah. Munchie B just came in here and allegedly disposed. Hold on, nigga. What you mean allegedly? You the one gave me the information I put on the floor. Ain't no alleged, nigga, because he in here, nigga. You gonna stand on your cripping, nigga. You the one told me all that, nigga, and put me on the phone with that nigga that Cuz trying to get me killed. What you mean? Nigga, you ain't gonna feed me something I put on the floor and then double back a week later because the nigga here talking about a legend when it came from you. Nah, nigga. And all of them heard it. That's why I look at everybody in their room. You niggas is watered down crips. Because y'all know what dude doing and y'all let him do it and y'all ain't checked him on it. Crips looking bad on the internet, man. This nigga just let, well, he told Flacco to bring all that up. That's the fact. Because he used to do it with me all the time. Yo, whack, come in. I got whoop, whoop, whoop. Come in, man. Let's get them niggas going. <laughs> I asked that nigga, was that what he was doing? He, nah, this shit just happened like this. I'm like, so it's just a coincidence. Every time no. I come to your room, this shit happened. No, that's what he do. <laughs> he called me about you before. I said, no, nah. I said, I said, uh, I said, no, nah. I said, I've been in the room with bro before. I said, he from Chicago, right? Yeah, I said, I ain't. I, ain't. I said, bro, I, ain't. I don't know nothing about that shit you talking about. Why well, I come and give you some detail? Nah, negative, nigga, you say it. And I hate this shit, bro, because these niggas be seeing me in person and be friendly, gang. Like, uh -oh. man, you man, notice the niggas that saying friends, shit? Dude. You notice the niggas that saying oh, shit to you over there? Hey, hey, yo, 16, you notice the niggas that saying shit to you over there don't even know nothing about the shit they saying? He feed them the info. 
Yeah, I peaked it because I got into it with Munchie B, and I wish I would have knew what I knew now. Because the shit he was saying, the shit I heard, bro, I ain't even going to repeat it. I know you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, um, the wife, shit I heard wife is like, one damn. the ones that broke it. Oh, yeah, I broke it. I'm the one. I got it from the nigga. The nigga <laughs> called me with the Crips on the phone who was involved with it. Yo, nigga, whack. This nigga, uh, Munchie, whoop de whoop. This happened to him. Got knocked out. They did this. Nigga on Crip. I'm going to call you with the niggas on the phone, nigga. He the one gave me the play. <laughs> and get on the floor after I go at Munchie with it two, three weeks later and say, yeah, you know, allegedly something's supposed to happen in the county with... Ain't no Can alleged, nigga. Yeah, you the one. You the one told me. You, ain't no alleged. Hey, whack. Let me let me address this though. Like like what they saying. They try to put out on sixteen. They saying that like yo sixteen. He got some shit going on with a thirteen year old when he was eighteen and shit. Hey, bro. If he wasn't never convicted of it and nobody else, like they didn't press charges and all this shit. Like, bro, ain't that shit none and void? Yeah, I, mean, I ain't, ain't never, lie. I ain't never heard nothing about it. I don't even know where they getting a thirteen year old front game. I in high like school. I don't even. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure like the age of high school is like fourteen to eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, like you that. go to high yeah, school yeah, when yeah. you're fourteen, a freshman. Yeah, but so I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 got, I got some shit. It's, uh, niggas been playing my name. I honestly think they know what I got coming because out the blue they just start trolling me and playing with me again. So I think. They probably doing this shit, so when I drop what I drop, they say this is a retaliation and I'm mad. Or oh, I might have paid somebody to do this shit, but I got some shit coming. And I got proof that I ain't I ain't go looking for this shit either. It came to me. And one of the motherfuckers that was playing on me, calling me, all that shit literally is that. And the person mm. who they who they who they is fucking with underage came to me and told their story. Damn. That's what they do. That's how I got oh, man. Jay Prince Jr. That's how I got it on Jay Prince Jr. The girl, she in Atlanta right now. That's why you heard. You don't remember Chuck when I when I was getting into it with the pops, and I said we are gonna talk about that sealed file and that situation with that <laughs> yeah. female that's hiding out in Atlanta. And nigga, everybody went on mute. <laughs> and then they just got to think about the shit they saying about me, gang. I'm in trouble with. I never okay. heard what they saying about you. I never even heard what they what you talking about. They like, can't like, like, down real quick. Yeah, yeah, like 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 Kevo, big folks now. They keep playing my name, saying. I, I fucked with an underage kid, this and that. Thing is, bro, like, y'all claim y'all got millions of dollars, bro. Don't you think y'all would have did an interview with that girl by now? Hell why, yeah. why, why, how do I have a victim but no victim saying that she a victim? Would, would it be in this public? The so they don't even got a female? The paperwork don't even say it's a victim. The paperwork don't even say that. The paperwork basically is like, it, it, it was, a, you know what I'm saying, I guess a misunderstood in, you know, situation where she, even the police threw that shit out. You know what I'm saying? And like me personally, bro, if motherfucker ain't convicted of something, like we got the law, right? Like yeah, people like- They lie about, about the that. age or something? Nah, it, it wasn't nothing like that. Like it was, it was this this the situation. I kind of explained it on no jumper. But long story short, I had a situation in high school where it was a girl, she, she had a crush on me. She was a freshman. I was a senior. I had a girlfriend that was like a junior or a sophomore or some shit like that at the time. She started harassing my girl, harassing me, all type of shit. And she basically was asking, like, can she uh tell people in her class she my girl? I mean, she my yeah girlfriend. I'm like, hell no. Nah. And then she basically asked me, like, what if I give you this? What if I give you this? I'm like, shit, say what you want at this point. But, I, but in my head, I'm like, I'm not finna say this shit. So she started giving me shit. But what I didn't know is the shit that she was giving me, she was stealing from her mama. So she gave me a laptop. She gave me studio equipment. She gave me tablets. She gave me cell phones. I'm taking all this shit and selling it on eBay, not knowing that this is her mama's shit. So now one day she come and ask for all this shit at school. I tell her that shit gone. Basically, like, she asked so for words, words. you beat. And I thought that was the end of it. She came back to school. And this time she was more serious. She like, my mama's just starting to look at me for this shit. I need it. I told her I don't got it. Next thing you know, I come to school and like in my science class, they come arrest me in the class or whatever. And I'm not knowing why. And then when they break down why, I get the spies and tell them what's going on. And I get arrested. I go to the station. I get an I bond. I sign and I, I sign for my own name, come home. The minute I come home, Anything that I sold that wasn't on eBay, like in my hood, I went to go buy that shit back, brought it back to the school, gave it to their ass, and they left the shit alone. 
That's crazy. So they arrested. They didn't even arrest you for nothing sexual. No, I they did. Arrest you. Now they I, I, no, I did. I got arrested because the mama. I don't know who said, told her to say this, but I assume the mama. I don't want to put nothing false on nobody, but somebody told her to say that we did something in the school. But it, it must not have been enough proof because they didn't charge it you. Wasn't enough right? proof because it never happened. But what they end up? They tried to what's the truck? It wasn't. Think, it was I a receiver stolen property or something. And no, they be having cameras no, all over all like, the schools for. He was know, hey, what? charged. Hey, wait. He was charged. He was charged with that that sexual act. But at the yeah. end of the day, they threw it out. You know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's gone. If somebody say something, that's enough for you to get arrested. Just don't stand it alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you beat, down to if you me beat like, the case, that's it. That's, that's it. Man, the, the case never even went to court. They never came to court. It that's, got that's dropped. Look, whether it dropped, whether you beat it in trial, whatever the fuck, it's over. Yeah, none of